inside this lab at Colorado State University. Rebecca Kading and her colleagues study the behavior and transmission of emerging viruses. There's a large proportion of the viruses that have emerged as human pathogens are zoonotic in nature, which means that they originate in an animal host, either wild or domestic. Bats, because of their large numbers, active flight patterns, and unique physiology, are considered key hosts of coronaviruses, and they're suspected of transmitting this latest virus, possibly at a live animal market in in Wuhan, China. So what we want to understand is what those risks are for spillover. What I want to understand is how do these viruses infect their reservoir hosts without causing disease. At a recent educational forum on the coronavirus at the university, bat expert Tony Shound said the tolerance of some animals for certain viruses could someday be copied in humans. What do these rodents and bats know about their viruses that we can learn from and perhaps develop some novel clinical strategies that might mimic their responses? It's the kind of question scientists at Colorado State, which has a long history of infectious disease research, are used to asking. When the COVID-19 outbreak occurred, their work suddenly became more timely and more relevant. We all came together um, immediately. University official Mark Zabel says all aspects of coronaviruses, from their genetic makeup to how long they can persist in the environment, were already being studied at the school. So it's just a matter of sort of understanding the mutations and the sequences and then um, seeing how we can adapt our current research towards this current outbreak. For example, is there a way to detect infections sooner? So if you go to the physician's office, um, being able to find out in a shorter period of time whether you're infected or not, so that your physician can give you actionable information. The school believes scientific breakthroughs are possible. This year, Kading will go to Uganda to investigate how viruses spill over from bats to people there. So we want to, you know, understand what what the risks are to people so we can also recommend some public health interventions that would that would help pe keep people safe. A goal that takes on a little more urgency these days. It's work scientifically that excites us but also the the impact in the world that that it could make is very important. Hendrick Sabrandi CGTN Denver.